Hey everyone, uh, my name is Brenda and I am a mom of two and I am, um, I built this YouTube channel because I wanted to um, let people know what a tummy tuck procedure is like, um, especially in Colorado. Colorado is not known for it, so um, I just wanted to kind of talk about my journey and what I went through. Um, so now we are on day six. Seven. So it's been a week, a full week, since I had my surgery, and um, I'm doing a lot better. I will say my lower back is killing me. Um, so they took out um, this whole section. It's like um, I had like the whole bottom section of my tummy. I needed to be taken out from hip to hip. Um, and so it was about nine pounds of fat skin that they took out. And so um, my skin right now is very tight. Like he really, really pulled it from the top to the bottom and sewed it on there. So, um, and then I'm also like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, so um, it's been really hard for me to walk. Long distances at least. Um, and long distance I mean from like like the room to like the kitchen to like the living room it's a long distance I usually have to hold on to something in between um, because my hips and my back um, start hurting a lot and um, that was something that I was not really thinking about I didn't think much about that um, I they did tell me that you were gonna be hunched forward for most of the time um, but I just was like oh okay like no big deal you know um but um uh, that and being that i am um a double d i don't think helps very much um so i'm dealing with it however i can um it's been you know a struggle from time to time like i have to take a lot of breaks i have to sit down quite a bit um I want to help around the house. I'm staying with my mom currently and I really want to like be able to help her out around here and um, do things and I really just can't because um, even to brush my teeth it it takes a lot of effort. I have to like lean forward and just kind of like hold on um, while I'm like brushing my teeth at the same time and so if you're tall um, or if you have a long torso you can expect that, that to happen. Um, but my healing is really good. It's going really well. I've taken two showers throughout the whole journey um, because I really don't like taking off my, um, my, I want to call it a girdle, but it's not a girdle, but it's my, my waist band that I have. I really don't like taking it off. It makes me feel like I don't know, like my guts are going to fall out. Everything is still so numb. Um, but I don't really feel it. So it really makes me feel like if I take it off, like something's going to happen. And I know nothing's going to happen. Everything is stitched the way that it needs to be. But I just am extra worried about it. So, yeah. So um, for the past week, let me, let me show you my positioning here. And my beautiful Virgin Mary back up. Mm -hmm. uh, so have this. So my waist has gone way smaller. This is my hips. You can't really see my full hips because I kind of have a big behind and hips. Um, but this has been how I have been walking most of the time. So I'm like hinged forward, which hurts a lot. Um, At least you get to see somewhat part of how I look, and I guess it's going back so you can see more. So I have bigger legs, hips. Um, he like will suction all of this on the sides, so um, just a better. Yeah, I guess he like will suction everything on the sides, so I am snatched, pretty snatched. Um, so this is. Goes down here. I had to cut it because it was too long and it was getting in the way. But like my incision is in this 
area. Um, I have a shirt here. So my incision is right through here. And like I said, it's tight. It is tight for me to be able to like get up or do anything. It is completely from one side to the other side. Um, the shirt over it. Should tuck this in. And so I was not expecting to be so swollen on the sides. Like my sides hurt, and I actually have bruising all through here. Um, and I was not expecting that. Uh, but I've been actually doing a lot of massages, so I will massage my legs um, constantly um, to kind of break up all that tension and get some circulation. Um, I've also been taking Arnica tea. I've heard that it's really good for lymphatic drainage. Um, and I have slightly been kind of just pushing down on the sides. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. Um, but just to kind of get some of that liquid out because I really want this drain taken out. Um, so something that's kind of different about my procedure. I know a lot of people have had two drains. I just have one. Um, the weird thing about my drain is where they put it. So I have a big, a big mom's uh, pubis is what it's called, which is like the, the part, like the upper part of your pelvic area or the part of your pelvic area, like the one that's right in the front where, where your pubic hair is. So I have a large area right there. So when they did my procedure, um, they, it kind of like got really pulled up. Um, so they took off all of that skin in between. They really went like from the top all the way to the bottom and like stitched it together. So it's like nice and tight. Um, but they put my drain like closer to that area and it's really not the best area to put it in, I would say, because, um, it, I have to, I keep on having to put like gauze around it because it moves around. So like, you know, I have to go to the bathroom repeatedly. Um, every time I go to the bathroom, it kind of moves around. So I have to put gauze around it because it actually kind of leaks some of the fluid through, which is probably why this is like not even where, like as full as it should be. Um, so I wasn't really happy with that, but, um, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, knock on wood, that, um, they'll take it out tomorrow and I won't have to deal with this anymore and it'll just be, you know, using this to have some compression and then, um, I was told that two weeks after that is when I get to use my Faha. So I am looking forward to that. I think it will be a lot more comfortable than using this. Um, but who knows, because we are in June, and it's fucking hot outside, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with, like, wearing a faja, but anyway, um, I'm just glad that we're getting through, um, I'm on my seventh day, last week on Thursdays when I have my, uh, procedure done, and I'm feeling a lot better now, I am off all the pain meds. Um, I just take extra strength Tylenol if I'm like really, really feeling it. Um, I do still have, um, so I have like three prescriptions that, that the doctor gave me that, um, he suggested I keep taking consistently, which are, um, antibiotics. Um, there's a nerve pain medication and then there's an, another one that is for swelling. So I've been taking the one for swelling, nerve pain, and antibiotics consistently. Um, I've also been taking probiotics because it's important. The gut flora is important. Um, and so far, everything's been good. So I did wake up this morning and I had like discomfort um, and some soreness like on my lower abdomen area. Um, but then once I thought about it, I was like, well, yesterday I moved around a whole bunch. Um, I walked longer distance than I normally do. I walked from my room to outside. My kids and my husband came here to see me uh, because
because I'm staying at my mom's because moms take care of you best and they feed you the best too and so I was hanging out with them outside uh, and then when they left I came to get them some water before they were leaving so I you know I came all the way back inside went up the stairs down the stairs so I think it might just be the soreness from moving around so much and my lower back just kind of putting some pressure on um, my lower abdomen area. I'm hoping that's what it is. I did, however, hear some popping. <laughs> um, and like in the middle of the night, I kind of heard like a <coughs> And they did tell me that um, the sutures could pop on the inside and to not be scared to hear that. I just didn't think that it would happen this soon. So um, I'm just waiting till tomorrow to ask them and see if there's anything that, you know, if that was okay, if there's anything wrong with that or whatever it may be. Um, so uh, I'm planning to make another video that's gonna have like advice on a uh, tummy tuck, what to do ahead of time, how to prep your home, um, what to have, what to do. Um, so I will post that video um, probably tomorrow. I'm going to try to post a couple times a week now that you guys know how I'm doing. Um, and obviously you're going to get a different setting because this is my mom's house and um, I will be at my mother-in-law's house, <laughs> which is where we're staying at the moment. So, um, and then I'll let you know more about why we're staying there, what's going on. The housing market is just nuts. So we're kind of waiting it out. But anyway, um, I hope that you guys like my advice or my updates and I will see you next time.